So we are taking a deep dive into the MIC today. Um, the MIC just stands for our Member Information Center. Um, it's our membership portal that we use to house all of our member information. It gives our members an interactive um, portal um, that comes with all sorts of benefits that are all free to you guys. Um, they are included with your membership. Um, some of the most underrated benefits, in my opinion, that people just uh, don't realize that they have access to. So that's why we do things like this, so that everybody knows uh, what they have, how to use them, um, and how it can really help benefit your company. Um, so first things first, um, if anyone has any questions, if you don't have a login to the MIC, um, please just shoot me an email. Normally, that's something that is set up when uh, the company first applies for a membership. So if either you were not a part of that process, um, or if you had added in later, if you forgot your password, anything like that, just shoot me an email. We can reset it on the admin side and get you guys set up and squared away. Um, so first, first things first, everybody needs to know how to log in to the Member Information Center. Um, so when you're on the homepage of the website for the Harford County Chamber, just harfordchamber.org, there's a little button up here in the top right corner that says Member Login. Pretty simple. Should bring you to this page um, where you can put in your username and password. Um, this will default to your email. As your username, you can update that to an actual username if you want to. You can continue to use your email, whatever you want to do. So then you're just going to sign in. And this is going to bring you to the main home page of the MIC. Um, so you can access everything from here. Think of this kind of as like your Facebook feed. <laughs> Um, it's kind of the business version of, of Facebook. So this middle part in, in, uh, in this section here is all going to be like your, your informational feed. You can see what other people have posted, what other people have shared. Um, all of the upcoming events are going to show up right here on the, the right-hand side. Um, and then you can access all the rest of your information, either from this top menu or this side menu. Um, so I'm just going to go through a couple things. Um, I want to start up here in the right hand corner here under account settings. Um, so a lot of this is kind of duplicate information. So you'll see here like personal information, company information. If you click on those, it's going to take you to the exact same place that personal information and company information will on the left hand side of the menu. It's just listed more than once. So the big one that you're going to want to know under account settings, because it's not listed anywhere else, is billing. So when you click on billing, this is going to be where you update all of your financial information. Um, so if you do have an invoice uh, outstanding, it'll show up here in the center part here. So whether that is your annual membership, um, if you maybe purchased a ticket or something to an event, um, and you chose to be invoiced rather than pay with a credit card, it'll pop up here for you. You just click on it and you can pay online. Pretty simple there. Um, your payment profiles over here on the left-hand menu. Um, there's nothing listed here. It's obviously the, the chamber does not charge itself for membership, but um, you can list individual profiles with individual payment information. Um, so depending on who that is in your company, you can list a specific person as like, this is the billing contact. This is, you know, the credit card associated with that person. Um, you can list more than one um, so that everybody has access to pay those invoices. Um, if you need to update a card, add a new card, anything like that, you just need to add a new payment profile. Um, so I can click on it pretty easily here. Um, what matters in this case is just that you're adding a new card. Um, it can be the same person. That doesn't matter. That's not going to mess with anything. Um, what matters is, is either the card number or the bank account information. You just enter all that in, hit add profile, and then that'll pop up as a new option there. Um, when you go over here, so going back to make a payment is just going to bring up any uh, outstanding invoices that might be there. Auto pay and billing. Um, so again, when you click on auto pay and billing, it's going to bring up your payment profiles that you are, have already saved there. Um, if you 
are if you have auto pay set up, if you're somebody who pays either monthly um, or you, you'll just do an automatic payment each year, that'll show up um, here under this top bar. It'll tell you like the date that that payment will be charged, um, what the amount is and all of that stuff. Um, this is just where you want to double check if you are set up for automatic payments. Um, the, it'll list the payment profile that's associated with that automatic payment. So if it's something where you know you've added a new card, you just want to make sure that we, when you after you add it, you go into auto pay and you just make sure that that is the card that is now listed as the auto pay card. You might have to switch some things around, delete an old card, things like that. Um, but all of that's going to show up in your auto pay and billing section. Transaction history, pretty basic. Um, any previous transactions are going to be here for you. You can download previous invoices um, that have already been paid. If you need an extra receipt for something, all of that will live here. Um, and you can download those directly from the portal. And then your shopping cart um, is basically just your um, where any tickets would live if you were maybe you started the process to sign up for an event or something and you didn't quite finish it didn't check out, so to say, um, those will appear here. Um, if you wanted to register for a bunch of things all at the same time, um, you can do that and it'll list all of them and then you can just hit continue and, and pay for them all in one fell swoop. And you can do it that way. All right. So that's the, the biggest part um, under account settings is just that billing piece. That's the, that's the easiest way to get to your billing information. So just remember that because it's not in the the other menus, um, and then you can always log out there. So I'm gonna go back here. So if you just click on the home button, it'll take you automatically back to this home page, um, like that. Um, so if you notice down here on the right side, you'll get this little member profile box that'll tell you that your company profile is whatever percent. Um, so that's just like a nice little handy tool if, if you're someone who hasn't really gone into the portal yet, you haven't really updated anything. Um, if you click here on update, it'll give you kind of a checklist of things that it recommends that you put in there. Um, so you can update all of your organization information, websites, photos, maps, all that stuff that I'll, I'll go through um, how to do that. But it's just a nice little checklist to kind of go through um, and see you know, what's recommended, what haven't we done yet, um, and then to revisit every now and then too, if, if things change, if you need to update them, just a nice little, a little tool. Um, so when you do click on that, you'll notice that the, the left-hand menu here will change. So this is where you can update all of that information. If you wanted to update directly from the checklist, you can do that. Um, like I said before, you can always do that from the left-hand menu here. Um, but I'm going to start up top here. And we'll just go through these. So first up is the directory. Um, so this is the internal version of the directory. It has all of our members. It will automatically just kind of list them alphabetically. Um, you can search for something specific if you know of the, the name of a company or you know the name of a person that you met and you're trying to remember what company they're with. Um, you can search there. Um, I recommend usually going over here to this menu and searching by category. Um, if you're not sure, you know, you don't have an exact person in mind or exact company in mind, but you know, I'm looking for a, an advertising company, you can sort that way. And it'll pull all of those people up that are in that category. Um, and just a, a quick note on this. So all of this directory information is based on what you are putting in your company profile. So you'll notice here that like some people have a little bit more information than other people. Um, so just one more reason why <laughs> it's important to update that information, make sure it's up to date. Um, and just to be able to share with your fellow members uh, what it is that you do. Um, and just, you know, it's always easier for people to be able to get in touch with you when they can easily click a button and, and see all of your information in one spot. And then all of this information is directly tied to the directory on the Chamber website, which I will get into in a little bit later. Um, so it's all, it's all one big directory. 
you'll get a different view based on where you're looking. If you're looking in the portal, if you're looking on the website, um, or if you're looking at the printed directory that we, well, quote unquote printed, that we email out every quarter. Um, all the same information. So whatever you're putting in the portal is what's going to show up in all three places. Events. So jumping into events, when you first open up this menu, this is going to give you every single event from every single member that has been put into the portal. Um, so if you're ever curious as to what's going on, um, whether you're trying to plan an event and you want to see like if there's anything else going on in that time period that you need to be aware of, if you just are curious to what, what your other fellow members are, are doing and you want to be a part of it, you can check here. Um, you can go to events that you've already registered for. If you need to add or delete an attendee, update any information, you can do that from this list. Um, and then it'll keep a record of events that you have attended previously. Um, so like I said, this is everything, every event. If you want to look specifically for the Chambers event, you just have to scroll down here to the Chamber of Commerce category. This is going to be purely Chamber events. So if you're looking for that, just remember to click that category. It makes it a lot easier rather than sorting through the there's hundreds of events in there. So just makes it a lot easier for you guys to sort through and find what you're looking for. From here, you can also add an event. Um, so there's a couple different places and ways that you can add an event, um, but this is one of them. It'll all take you to the same page. So if you guys are having an event and you want to advertise that to the membership, to the general public, this is where you do that. Um, it's pretty simple. You just fill out the form titles, dates, details of the event. Um, you can see all of this here, fees, admission, contacts, event categories. Um, so you can you know, choose you, as many categories as you want, choose the categories that are specific to your event. Um, my recommendation, if this is an event that is open to the public, not just for other members, um, always click on this community category. Um, doing that is going to automatically post it on the community calendar on our website. Um, so that's kind of the public version, if you will, um, that'll that'll share this event at a on a wider base than just the member portal. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, usually, always I say just always click the the community category. Um, you can upload all of your photos, things that you want to do. Um, I'll go over this in a little bit more detail later on, but you'll see here, there's a lot of different types of photos that you can upload. Um, the header, main events, search results, and gallery. Um, so I'm gonna hop over here really quick. So this is the directory listing for the chamber. So just to give you guys a quick idea. Um, so when you're putting your event photos in, so your event header photo is, what's gonna display at the top here. Um, so right now we have our member badge up here, um, but normally this is a like a kind of a long skinny photo that you can put in the top. Think like an email header kind of, um, that, that photo is what's gonna be at the very top here. Your main event photo is going to be the one that's right here next to your name and your information. Um, your search results is going to be, is not going to be on that direct directory page. That's going to be if you go to the calendar on the website and it brings up that whole list um, rather than listing, well, it will list the name of the event, but then above that, um, it'll have like a little little square icon um, that you can use to, to indicate the event. And then your gallery photos are all of the additional photos that are going to be at the bottom. Um, and you can you can put a whole bunch of them in there. Um, and then there's your spot for a video. Um, if you have a video for that, so you can do um, you can either upload an image if you have a map that you want to use, or you can just default to Google Maps to show people where it's going to be. Um, and then you can do your YouTube video, like you saw here, that'll stick up here, um, and your map there. Um, so you can always save your event as a draft if you need to come back and edit it later, um, or you just submit for approval. 
Um, so all of our events come through um, the chamber staff first. We just verify, make sure everything is good to go. Um, so if you submit an event and you don't see it pop up automatically, that's why. Um, give us a couple, give us a day or two um, just to review everything um, and officially submit it, and that'll um, put it up on that calendar for you. All right, so I'm just going to go back here. And then if you go to manage events, um, this is where it would list either events that you are working on that you saved as a draft or events that you have done previously. Um, so just, just a good place to know where that is. If you do have a draft and you need to come back and finish it, it'll live here. Um, or you can see that these, we have some very old events in here. Um, if you have something that you do often or you do it every year that will more or less kind of stay the same each time, um, you can you know find an old version of that event, copy it and just update the dates um, and things and you know save yourself a little bit of time and energy when doing that. So all of that's going to live under managing events. Coming back up here, um, you do have some resources that are in here. Um, I will tell you that some of these, if are a bit outdated. Um, we have to, that's a summer project I'm going to work on is getting all of these updated. Um, but there, there's just a couple of helpful documents in here, you know, list of available committees and groups, boardroom rentals, membership benefits, um, cost savings programs, things like that. So if you want to review those, you can. Um, all of that information is probably going to be also listed on the website and some other places, um, but it's there if you need it. Um, reporting. We might come back to reporting, but just brief overview. Um, so this is going to give you kind of a brief overview of how many people have seen what you have posted. Um, so you can see your total views and impressions for the past year. That includes your profile, your directory listing, and anything that you've posted, whether that's an event, deals, job postings, um, press releases, anything like that. Um, and then it breaks down hot deals and job postings specifically. Um, so that's just a little way to kind of track and see how many people might have um, viewed your post, even if they're not necessarily you know, liking it or commenting on it or something like that, you can kind of see how many eyes have been on it. Um, the news tab is pretty much just the, it's the same information as is on this left-hand menu. It's just kind of broken down in a different way. So if you like this layout better than a menu layout, it's here for you. Um, and you can see all the different deals and news releases and jobs and things that uh, have been posted recently. And then your settings, um, if you need to update anything in here, um, it just lives in here. Here's your billing once again that's here. And then this is all of your company and personal uh, information that you can update. Um, specifically, if you need to change usernames, passwords, things like that, you can do that in here. Um, but like I said, if you get locked out of your account, if you don't remember the password to even get in in the first place, let me know. We can uh, we can manually reset that for you. All right. Any comments, questions on any of that so far? No, we're good. Not going too too fast. Hopefully, I said we have a lot to cover. I'm trying to squeeze it all in. Um, all right. So let's jump down over here to this menu. So starting with personal information. This is your information, you as a person who is currently logged in to the MIC. Um, so here you're going to see my information. This is, um, you know, my job title, my email, all that stuff. You can add as much or as little as you would like. Um, I recommend you at least have this filled out for at least kind of that primary person on your team that's probably going to be the most outward facing, interacting with members, interacting with customers. Um, just so that people can really easily get in touch with them and uh, know who they are and what they do. Um, you can have as many people in the portal as you want. Everybody can have their own login information. 
Um, so just make sure that this is specific to you. And if anybody, if you're sharing your account with anybody else, either make sure they have their own login information so that they can have their stuff in here too, or they're just careful and they're not accidentally changing anything and deleting your information because they're changing it to themselves. Um, so I'll go through how to add people to your account. You can do that. It's totally up to you. We have some members that, you know, they have one login under one person and they just share that username and password with the rest of their team and they all log in under one account. We have other members where, you know, they have 25 people listed and they all have their own login information. Um, so that's totally up to you and how you want to handle that. I just tell people just to make sure that you are logged in as you before you update any of your personal profile information because it will overwrite whatever's in there. Um, so if I, you know, if I logged in as Angela and I started changing things, it would delete Angela, which we don't want to do. All right, username and password, we already went over it it's there. You can upload a uh, photo, again, photo of you. Um, I would recommend at least somebody on your team having a, a picture up there. It's just nice. Um, it'll be listed on your directory. Um, so like I said, if you have that main uh, point of contact, um, just so people can recognize you know, who you are if they, if they see you at an event or something like that. Um, groups and uh, interests, we don't have quite set up yet. So you can ignore that for now. We do have groups. If you're interested in joining a group, a lot of them are um, kind of, you know, they have their own presidents and vice presidents and, and people to talk to to get you signed up for those. Um, so if you do have any questions about joining them, just let us know and we'll put you in touch with the right people. And your social networks. So these are all, again, under the personal tab is your personal social networks. Um, so if you want to include your personal social media, you can. Um, I think a lot of people, depending on the, the industry that, that they're in, um, sometimes they'll update this. They have a, you know, a Facebook page that is under their name, but it's a, it's a, a business page, right? Like they don't, they're not using that for their personal reasons. They're posting work, you know, business related content. Um, a lot of times like realtors and things like that will have a, a page like that. You can uh, pop those in there. Um, and then this is where you can change um, any of your preferences. So you can put your information in there and then you can hide it. <laughs> so um, if you wanna say, you know, I'm gonna allow members to see my full name and my email address, but I don't want the general public to be able to see that. You can update all of that here, just click and, and save changes. Um, so that way, so if you do check things off for members, if you go to that directory while you're in the membership portal, it'll show that person's contact information. But if they have it unchecked for public, you would not see it listed on the website directory. If that makes sense. All right, so that's everybody's personal information. Company information. This is the, again, so here's your profile, here's your checklist. This is the information for your business. Um, so you're going to start an organization information, pretty simple, the names, phone numbers, emails, websites, address, um, all of that stuff. Um, you can opt update here, um, billing, who that billing contact is going to be. If you'd prefer print email um, invoices, you can update that there. Um, that's all the, the simple stuff that, that you should always have in there. Here's your employees. All right, so these are all the people that you can put in the portal. So like I said, if you want to be one of those companies that has every employee listed and they all have their own login information, you can do that here. You're just going to add an employee slash rep, pop in their basic information. And then when you go come down here to login access, you can click this button to email them an invitation. That'll send them the link to cre then create their own username and password to log in. You don't have to do that. Um, so if you, for, if for some reason, if you wanted to have somebody listed in the directory, but they wouldn't be the one maybe managing this information or updating this information, you have somebody else who would be doing that. You can have them in here and they don't have to have a login. And then, Save, pretty easy. 
Um, and hey, then, Natalie, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. If you have employees that are actually going to have absolutely zero interaction with the chamber or anything else like that kind of a thing, would the chamber still prefer that they're listed in there? Or that is up to you. Um, so I would say like definitely, definitely make sure you have at least like a primary point of contact, like you know, your your face, I guess you could say, of of your company. And then I would minimally have that and a billing contact would be ideal. Okay. Um I would say, yeah, it's up to you. If they're not going to be chamber facing, really, they don't have to. Um, okay. If they want to be involved more, um, you can definitely put them in there. The only thing I can think of would be if, for whatever reason, we couldn't get in touch with anybody else and we see that, oh, this other person's listed in there, I'll try to give them a call and see if I can get, you know, get in touch with somebody. Um, that would be the only reason I could think that we would touch base with with someone like that okay. um so yeah up to you okay cool thanks yeah. thank you all right um so then you can see we have some people in here that um, are no longer with the chamber um so if you if that's the case and so you have people leave the company that are um no longer with you all you need to do is click the checkbox next to their name and deactivate them and that will remove them that will um, that will deactivate their login if they have one. So even if they tried to log in and get into the system, it would deny them access. Um, and that just, just removes them for you. Um, it's a nice way, A, to keep everything up to date um, so that people aren't accidentally trying to reach out to the wrong people. Um, and it's fantastic for us um, if we're trying to you know, repeatedly get in touch with somebody and we didn't realize that they had left the company. Um, it's just nice for us to be able to know who we should be talking to primarily. So real easy, just click and deactivate. All right, website information. So this will be all the same information that you input earlier under organization information. Um, this here, so your website URL, you will update in organization information. That's just your website, which you can see on the directory here, it'll be listed here. If you want, you can put in an alternate text to your website. So rather than it saying, I think it, it defaults to what it is here, just like visit website, you click on it and it would take you there. You can, if you wanna add in some text. So rather than it saying that you could, it could say, you know, visit our website, click here, you know, whatever else, if you wanted to just make it a little fancy, you can do that here. Here's where you would put in um, social media pages for the company itself. Um, so all of the pages are here to add them. All you need to do is drop in the link, click verify, just to make sure that it connects properly. Um, and then as long as this blue box is checked, it will show them as an icon here on your directory page and people can go to automatically. All right, and then here's your description. Um, you have, I think, 1500 characters, kind of describe who you are, what you do. You can see that that will show up here under about us. So we probably should update our about us. So it's a little more lengthy. Um, you have a nice amount of space to, to do that. Um, so then these are your search results and your meta descriptions. Um, so if you're not super SEO savvy, um, is basically just kind of how Google would find you if somebody was searching. Um, so your meta description is basically just super brief description of your company. Um, so Google can easily recognize you when somebody is searching. And uh, same thing as your search results. So if somebody Googles Harford Chamber, rather than going directly to our website, this is what would show up in the actual search result description. That makes sense. That's a whole nother can of worms. I'm not an SEO expert. If you want an SEO expert, 
we've got people that can help you out with that. Um, all right, hours of operation, directions, highlights. So we actually don't have any highlights um, up on the chamber directory page right now, um, but these are little bullet points that you can add under your about section. Um, if you want to highlight really any, anything, anything cool that you might be working on. So if you have, um, you know, a product guide or, uh, you know, samples of projects that you've done previously, or you want to link maybe to specific pages of your website um, rather than just the homepage or something like that, you can enter those in here. Uh, and then just some keywords if you, again, with that SEO stuff, um, if people are searching for specific words, um, that just kind of helps them find your listing. Again, save changes. Always remember to click save at the bottom um, when you update anything. Make sure that that is there for you. Categories. So the category that you're in in the directory is based off of what you choose when you first join the chamber. Once it is set, it is set. <laughs> um, so if for whatever reason you need to change that category, that is something that you'll have to ask us to do. Um, so nine times out of 10, that's not something that you need to change. The categories are pretty open, um, but if for whatever reason things change and, and you need to update that, please just shoot us an email um, and we can handle that for you. Um, all right, so this is just a little bit of additional information that you can add if you want to. This is um, this is limited to, this is only like within the portal. Um, and this is just, if you wanted to update, you know, if you're a nonprofit, veteran owned, minority owned business, um, things like that, you can put that in here. It, that is just indicated on your directory listing. Again, within the portal, it'll just have a little button at the bottom that indicates that you are veteran owned, minority owned, women owned, um, nonprofit, whatever that is. Um, and then people can search the directory or, or um, narrow down their search in the directory by specific categories like that. Um, so like if you're a nonprofit, just make sure that you indicate that if you want to show up in the nonprofit search, if that makes sense. Okay. Logos. So this is where you start, um, we start making things look pretty on the directory. Um, so again, this is all um, similar to like when you were doing an event, your member page header, it's gonna be that header image at the very top of the page. And then your logo um, is going to be what shows up um, Next to, if this bar would go around my screen, that'd be great. Um, this one's gonna show up next to your name. This is also what's going to show up um, on event pages. If you're an event sponsor, um, you'll see that sometimes. Um, this will be the logo that is used. Um, so if anything, please minimally put a logo in there. Um, that's just That's just helpful for me. Um, but especially when it comes to event plannings and sponsorships and things like that, um, just to know which, which logo you would prefer to be used. Pop that in right there. All right. Photos. This is where you can upload all of those pictures that show up at the bottom of your page. Um, so when you click on manage, you can upload, uh, I believe up to 10 photos. Um, you just indicate what position you want them to show up in. And you can um, you can put a little caption if you want to, um, just kind of describing what they are. You can add a new image, save if you make any changes, um, and then if you want to remove an image, you just click on delete, um, or you can delete the whole thing and start over. All right, so I'm just gonna save that. So that's where you put all of your pictures for your company specifically. Just make sure you're under this company tab. All right, video. You can upload one video. It does need to be housed through YouTube. 
um, and you just pop the link in there. Um, so for us, like this is our little um, chamber trailer. Um, so if you have a video that just kind of summarizes who you are and what you do, that's a nice place to, to put it. And then your map. Um, so most of the time you're probably gonna wanna default to, to Google Maps. It will drop this pin based on the address that you've put in your organization information. Um, if you want, you can upload an image. Um, if you wanna be more specific or maybe you have a nicer map that you know is more colorful and has a better you know street view or something, you can do that. Um, and then here you just want to show on organization directory. So you can turn the map off if you would prefer not to show it, or maybe you don't have a physical location, um, or if you have multiple locations. Um, so you can only have one main address listed in your organization. So if you're somebody who has three or four different branches, um, one will be listed as your primary. Um, so I would say either for location wise, if you want to do a map, put that as your primary. The biggest um, factor for us is for billing information. Um, so whatever address you need for billing, please put that in there. Um, so that might be an instance where you want to upload an image of a map that maybe would have a pin at all three locations or four locations or whatever. Um, you can do that here. Or you can manually set that. Um, and you can you can customize that, but again, it's only one. So either hopefully you have one, or you can just pick your favorite. <laughs> All right, save that. All right, and then your membership badge. Um, so this should just be here. This. Oh, okay, that does not do what I thought it would do. I need to update this actually, this is the old one. Um, so this is the membership badge that this just kind of lives here. This this will show up in everybody's profile when you log in. Um, and that is just, if you want to indicate on your own website that you're a member of the Harford County Chamber, um, this will pop up here. You just click generate um, and it will add that to your profile. Again, billing. If you need to go back to your billing, it's all right here. There's a lot of ways to all get to the same information. So you can do that here. All right, I'm gonna pop back to the home page really quick. All right, any questions about that? Updating your personal information, updating company information. A note on the membership badge. Yeah. If you go under resources, resources there is also a, um, have the... a couple up from the bottom, there's member badge digital. There it is. Yep. That is that is just the really cool image that says proud that member of the Harford Chamber. That's the one I was looking for. Thank you. So. Yep. So you can download this too right from here and pop that onto your website. That's what we got on our website. Um, social media pages, wherever you want to put that. Um, yes. Thank you. All right. Cool. Good to move on. All right. So. The rest of the stuff in this menu is all of the fun things that you get to do and that you get to post directly through the portal. Remember, all of this is included in your membership. So hot deals. These are all of the deals that you can offer to the community, the whole community, not just chamber members. That'll be a member to member deal. We'll get into that next. Um, so if you are offering a discount, a special program, um, a holiday sale, something like that, you can put that in here. So it's, um, you do it the same way that you do events, anything like that. You just add a hot deal, put in the information here, add the details, add some pictures, all that stuff, who to contact, your active dates. Um, so this will be uh, how long you want that to run. So if you have a week long sale, you can put it starts this date, ends this date. You can do it just for a day. Um, you can do it, I think you can do it for several years if you ever needed to do that for some reason. Um, so just make sure that these dates are accurate. Um, because if you accidentally type 
you know, 2022 instead of 2023, it won't show up <laughs> and uh, things like that. Again, you can submit it as, or save it as a draft, come back to it later. Um, and then when it's ready, you just submit for approval, comes to us, we check it off. Um, if it, so when you're posting as a hot deal, that is open to the public. So it will show up in the membership portal. Um, chamber members will get a notification that it's been posted, that it is available. Chamber members can participate in that deal, but it will also live on our website under resources and hot deals. So this is open to the public. Anybody can go and see our website um, and they can find them out here and they can find that information and uh, take advantage of those deals. So that's all here. If you wanna do something that's specific for members, um, then you can put that in member to member deals. Um, so these are options, you know, purely to help support each other as chamber members, offering a special discount um, for members, same exact process, add a member to member deal, input your information, photos, contact, make sure the dates are good, um, and then submit when you're ready for it to go live. Same thing for news releases. Um, so news release, uh, same thing as like a press release. Um, so if you have uh, some awesome information that you wanted to share, um, you can pop that in here. Um, I like to encourage people that, you know, consider this a very broad sense of, of press release. Um, you know, we wanna celebrate everything that is going on um, with our members. So. Any sort of awesome accomplishment, feel free to post that. We have sometimes members that will post um, things from the community that they've just been involved in and they wanted to share, um, updates like that. You can put those in here. Again, same process. Add all that information in. Again, when you're choosing your categories for this one, um, choose any and all that relate to the update that you're providing. Um, if you want the community to see it, just check community, um, save, submit. Pretty simple. Job postings. This is a big one because everyone is hiring all the time, it feels like nowadays. So um, if you are hiring and you would like to share that opening with the membership and with the broader community, you can put that in here add a job posting, again, title, description, um, who to contact, how long you would like the listing to be live for, and uh, you can upload an image, anything like that. Go back, what's going on? Okay, um, all right. And then again, job postings are also live on our website. Um, so this is open to the public. They can find that information here. Um, as well as members will be able to see them in the actual portal. And again, all of these are pretty simple. Add or manage. I'll just open this up really quick. Um, so these were all previous job postings done by the chamber. Um, so if you need to... If you need to update anything, you can do it from here. Again, copy an old one so you don't have to start from scratch. If for whatever reason, you know, you've posted it and um, you need to take it down, change something, um, you can just quickly delete them from there. All right, 15 minutes, we're doing, doing all right. All right, your social feed just brings you back to this homepage with this feed here. Um, so anytime you post anything, jobs, deals, events, um, it's gonna pop up here. So you can check it out, see what everybody's doing. You can filter these by specific things. Um, if you're looking for anything specific, you can do that here. Or you can go to the specific category. Um, and the last thing is the request for proposals. Um, so if you're in need of a service and you want to just open it up to the membership, um, you can add an RFP. 
Um, so this one's a little bit different. You can, you know, put in your title, put in the dates um, that you want the listing to be available for, put in the due date of when you would like the project to be completed, description, budget, um, instructions for responding, who to respond to, website if you want to. These categories are all of the categories that chamber members are broken down into. So this is where you would choose who would receive this RFP. So this is where you go through and you say like, okay, I'm looking for automotive services. So if I click this, this RFP is then gonna be emailed out to all of our members in the automotive services category. Hope that makes sense. Um, so this is an easy way. Um, so then you just check that you're not a robot um, and submit. Um, this is just an easy way if you are looking for a specific service for your business and you might not necessarily have a particular person or company in mind, um, or you just wanna give everybody a fair shot and, and open it up to the whole category. Um, it's a great way to do that. Um, like I said, only people in that specific category that you check off will receive that notification. Um, but anybody can then anybody who's in the member portal who's logged in can see it under the request for proposals tab. Um, they just wouldn't receive that notification with the details initially. Um, so you can just narrow it down that way. All right. So that is. I believe everything that you can do um, in the portal. So like I said, log in, jump in, fill out all the information. Um, I want to come back here. Um, so I just wanna say a quick note about the membership directory. So when you are on our website, our membership directory is right here. It's again, sorted by all of the categories you can search for a specific company here, search within a radius, all the categories, all that stuff. Um, I would just encourage you to think about when you are doing this and you're putting all this information into your profile, um, remember that this is just one extra way that people can find you. It's one extra way that potential customers and clients can find you. Um, so you really wanna make it you know, use it to your advantage, make it as nice as you possibly can, share as much information as you possibly can. Um, I don't need that anymore. Um, I'm just gonna click on some things here. So you can see like this member has definitely, you know, they've updated their social media. They've up added some extra information in here. They don't have any pictures listed yet. Um, All Signs hasn't done anything yet. So you can like, there's a difference is what I'm saying between, you know, this is a basic, um, a basic directory listing. This is, you know, they probably just pulled all this information from their membership application when they first applied versus when you have all the information, you have the pictures, you have links directly to your website, to your social media channels. Um, it's just one more way for people to find you. So when you're thinking about, you know, your potential customers and your clients, and you think, you know, what are they searching for? What are they typing into Google when they're trying to find a company like ours? You want something like this to be listed in that search, right? Because that's going to potentially bump out somebody else's website that might do something similar to you. <laughs> um, and, you know, you want to, you want people to be able to find you, your website, your social media, and then probably a directory listing or something else that is gonna feed them back to your information. Um, just one extra way that that you can capture those people because um, everybody knows they're not gonna sit there and they're not gonna scroll through three pages of Google listings. <laughs> they're gonna click on the ones that are at the top. Um, so this is just one more way to kind of bump out other listings that might show up at the top and uh, and bring yours up.